United States of America has held a position of honor and respect. So we are uh, we're here to uh, uh, counter the uh, edicts, the, uh, the uh, dictates that Kate Brown wants to uh, hand down to the Legislative Assembly. Um, it's probably going to originate in the Senate. We don't know for sure yet, but uh, if she Governor wants Kate to um, become governor and place a magazine again, ban on the will. state of Oregon. We'll call her. Um, more than likely, anything over 10 rounds is going to be banned in the state of Oregon. Um, she wants to uh, place more restriction on uh, background checks as far as the um, uh, three business day time frame on a delay. Uh, if a uh, firearms transfer an FFL is delayed, uh, if it goes beyond the business days, currently that retail business, that gun store, can still conduct the transfer and hand the weapon over to the customer. If the uh, uh, check doesn't come back with any denial from the FBI, um, and she wants to uh, uh, place a uh, restriction on uh, anybody with a uh, arbitrary restraining order. Uh, if there is a uh, restraining order placed on a boyfriend or a husband or anybody that filed one against somebody for any arbitrary purposes, whether it holds merit or not, um, is going to have a uh, restriction on buying a gun. You know, obviously you guys feel it's a clearly a... Infringement on clearly, side. clearly an infringement, right, uh, a severe infringement, because we don't know how, here, right? how sometimes uh, people act, uh, whether it's a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a husband right, or a wife uh, or, or another family member. Um, a little bit earlier, just filing uh, some uh, arbitrary with, uh, restraining order on somebody that the, uh, doesn't hold any merit just because they're upset or they're, they're, they want to get re re revenge on them for whatever reason. Um, you should still be able to exercise your liberty because you haven't done anything wrong. You've got you've got a girlfriend or you've got a boyfriend that filed a restraining on you for absolutely no reason. They just want to get revenge on you. So this is how we feel. This, this isn't right. You can't just do that. And, and uh, forgive me if I don't know the ins and outs of what she's doing, but mm -hmm. so has there been no public discussion on she going ahead and pushing this through? Or? Well, these are just edicts, dictates that she has come up with and she uh, wants to uh, hand these off to the Legislative Assembly. There hasn't been, as far as we know, any committee hearings on them. There hasn't been any other type of discussion on it. But we do know that there is talk between Elizabeth Steiner Hayward from up in Hillsborough and Beaverton and Mitch Greenleg uh, from, from, from a similar area uh, district. I can't remember what district he is. Um, but they want to uh, in place on Oregon, a gun ban, an AR ban, what they call assault rifles. This, right here, to them, this is an assault rifle. Well, no, it's not. This is a rifle. Well, actually, technically, for the ATF, this is a pistol. This right here is a pistol. You guys are, obviously, this has been, it's not just happened today. This has been an ongoing thing for years now. Yeah, it's been an ongoing thing. Every time something happens somewhere in another state, uh, Florida recently because somebody goes and does a heinous act, a uh, crime, an act of terrorism. It's everybody else's fault. It's, it's average Americans who exercise their liberty, their rights. We have to sacrifice for it. Well, no, we're not. We're not doing that. We're not going to sacrifice for that. We don't care what happens. We're not having any empathy on these tragic shootings. We're not going to sacrifice our liberty because somebody goes and makes a decision like that and goes and murders a handful of people, a crowd of people, whatever. It doesn't matter if it's one person or a hundred people. We don't care. This is our liberty. We are not going to give no, one more inch. Well said. Um, what's, what's going on inside the building? So what are you guys This doing? is the last day of legislative week. This is a week that started Monday. Every year before each session starts, whether it's see, in, an, in odd years, it's uh, regular sessions. In even years, it's uh, short sessions. So we've got a short session coming up in 2017. Uh, I believe it's January, starting in January 2017, we have a short session. So, um, uh, right now what's going on inside the building are meetings. Meetings between the committees, the uh, representatives, and the state senators, and uh, meetings with the governor, and uh, more disturbingly, uh, meetings with individuals uh, who represent the United Nations. 
they go out to each capital, state capital, uh, for the UN, the UN, and they uh, hand down to the elected officials that we have what they want. And you guys want your voice to hear about what you want. We're here to voice our concerns. We're here to tell them that we're not going to allow these edicts, these dictates, to come to uh, fruition. The criminal loophole has to be fixed. You did well, man. Is there anything you want to add on that? I mean, it's hard to get it all in a couple minutes sound bites, you know. So let's actually deal with the problem. Not one more inch. Not, not one more inch. We've got. Um, see, the, the concept right, of gun control started in the 1930s. It was because of prohibition. It was a byproduct of prohibition because of the. Uh, gun rights or the Gun Control Act of 1934 was that Leo? The gun Control Act of 1934. It was a byproduct of prohibition because you had bootleggers that were utilizing uh, the uh, uh, fully automatic Tommy gun, uh, fighting off the FBI and other law enforcement uh, to uh, prevent them from uh, uh, destroying the, their uh, their illegal uh, alcohol. Um, uh, so that was the first attack on the Second Amendment right there. And it all rolled downhill after that. We had more uh, illegal acts from Congress. There was the um, uh, uh, 1968 was another example. Uh, the, uh, uh, it was a Gun Control Act in 1968. Um, that, uh, that was a result of the, uh, the Kennedy assassination. And uh, the, the other assassination of his brother, Bobby Kennedy. It's, so we're basically you guys feel like every time something goes every wrong. Every time you, you something happens, the there's a knee jerk reaction. You guys pay the price for it. Exactly. Everybody does. Perfect. Uh, good job, man. I think I got what I need. Okay.